Hi, welcome to Blender Talkies tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to modeling a wooden beach chair using Blender 2.5. I started this tutorial with default cube. Go to the right view, 5 to ortho view, and scale Z. Press 7 to top view scale x <coughs> with that yeah, 3 to right ortho view and scale z little bit yeah ok scale y scale in the y direction fine now keep this scale shift a curve nobs curve Rotate this knob curve in your direction. Rotate Z 90. Rotate Y 90. Press still the knob curve is selected. Press tab to enter into edit mode. Here in the object data properties. Here check this endpoint U. Now select these two control points, scale Y and select these two control points and move it up like that. Fine. And name this curve as base support D from edit mode. Now add another one, nub curve, rotate set 90, rotate y minus 90, move it here like that, place it like that, press tab and turn into edit mode, likewise before we did that, in, uh, enable the endpoint view, now select this uh, control point and move it down select these two control points move it back like that select this control point move it up like that and place like this Yeah, fine. Fine. Now select this cube. Press tab to enter into edit mode. A to deselect all. Press Z to for wireframe mode. B for box selects. Sorry, before that. Press Ctrl Tab to LG Selection Mode. Now select B for box selection. Select these two edges in the toolbar. Subdivide it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now leave from the edit mode. Select this. Still, the cube is right as shift D Z. Keep it below scale Y. Move it a little bit bigger than the above and <coughs> select this curve and name this curve as back support. Now, select this cube here. Go to the modifier, add modifier curve in the object select the base support move in the y direction like that scale y that's uh, fine it's fine now up the modifier now select this cube so I select this curve shift s cursor to select it select this cube shift s selection to cursor 
now add modifier to this cube add modifier curve in the object select back support and move in the y direction like that keep it like that yeah fine now apply the modifier and move it keep it like that fine now shift 8 to add another one knob curve rotate z 90 rotate y minus 90 move this up press tab to enter into edit mode now in the object data enable the endpoint view now select this point bring it down and select these two points and move it like that select this point bring it back select this one move it down and select this point move it down select this one like that that place it yeah like that fine <coughs> now name this as name this curve as wood support now go to the front view leave from the auto view select these two cubes press ctrl j to join those two and press shift d to duplicate it press x to move in the x axis like that place it here and press shift a mess add cylinder rotate y90 and scale the cylinder scale the cylinder in x direction like that Fine. Oh, we want to scale this in a little bit more. Yeah, one sc sorry, scale EX like that. Place it like that. Fine, move it here and place like that move it here now go to the modifier add modifier array modifier and here set it to 0 in the y 1.05 set the array count to 18 now select this side modifier now this time curve modifier and in the object data select wood support uh, sorry before that so before that select this curve shift s cursor to select it and select this one shift s selection to cursor ok now add modifier to set the array here 0 here 1.05 and set the count to 20 in the object data 
now add modifier curve modifier in the object data select wood support now add another one 21 yeah 21 is enough now select the wood support curve yeah, wood support curve press tab to enter into edit mode and adjust the curve little bit yeah it's almost fitted that like that okay press tab to enter leave from edit mode okay now select the cylinder now apply the array modifier and apply the curve modifier now move this cylinder place it in the right place like that and go to the front view leave from ortho view rotate this I think this is the nice view for me so I press control alt 0 to set the camera here and select all scale is scale this to fit into the camera like that yeah it's fine and yeah, now everything is fitted into camera okay thank you for watching my tutorial i see you in the another one tutorial thank you